everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to just do a simple flip cup. I know there's a lot of beginner acrylic pouring artists out there that um, are looking for simple uh, pours to start with. Well, the flip cup is one of them and so I wanted to demonstrate that today. So, uh, and I want to bring out uh, how I uh, prepare my canvas also. I tape the back, I put push pins in, and I actually sprayed the back of uh, this canvas with just water because that does tighten up that canvas a little bit, like a drum. So let's go over my paints I'm using today. All of my paints today are mixed, seven part mix to one part water. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the mix, it is a glossy clear archival acrylic pouring medium. It's very nice. It lets transparency for the layers of the paint to come through. And I will list the link to, um, or actually the name of the person you can contact to order the mix in my description. So check it out there. I am going to be just using two little cups here today, so I am going to have some negative space. My base coat is just Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with the mix and watered down just a little bit there. And my next color is Amsterdam Buff Light. And I will show you consistency if you can see it there. My next color is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. My next color is a combination of Amsterdam Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue. And my next color is Folk Art Treasure Gold Fire Opal. Very pretty color. My next color is a, a paint called Mysterious, and it is a combination of four different paints that I make up to give me this really pretty bluish green color. My next paint is a combination of the Parage Posse Snow White Iridescent Pearl in Ellie's Evergreen Shimmer. And my last paint is Golden Fluid Acrylics Iridescent Copper Fine. Um, no silicone added to my paints today. I don't really expect to get cells. That's not what I'm going for. I'm just going for a simple flip cup. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera, put down my base coat, fill my two cups, and then I'll bring you back and we'll get started painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I filled my two cups, and I'll show you how I did that. Actually, I did put the uh, base coat in between some of the colors, which you can do on a flip cup. If you're worried about putting two colors right next to each other that may turn out muddy, just put a, a layer of your base coat or white or off-white or something that would... Um, separate them to prevent that and now I'm torching some of you want to know why do you torch you torch to bring up air bubbles this paint I did mix a few days ago so there should not be very many air bubbles but you torch to bring up any that may be there now with a simple flip cup you just take your cup and just do that flip it and again my second cup, just flip it. And I like to leave it sit there just for a little bit. Let that paint run down. And I'll talk about how I put my base coat on. I take a little spongy brush and I go around the uh, edges with my base coat. And then I put um, my base coat on top of the canvas. 
I spread it out with this OXO omelet turner. And then I run my fingers around the edge of the canvas to get any of the drips. So that's how I prepare that canvas. Now what you can do is you can take one of your little push pins if you'd like and just poke a hole in the top and that does help that paint run down. And as you can see, my paint is running now. So I'll, I'll do my first flip cup. I just pick it and I just turn it like that. really pretty colors there and yeah. again flip it and I get, just give it a little bit of a twist and here is something else that I've found I like to do I'm going to take one of my colors and just run it down the middle to separate my two cups of color and I think today I will use my color Mysterious. And if you see quite big air bubbles like I do, you can always get rid of those with your skewer. And if you want to wreck your um, flip cup, you can run your skewer through it. But today I don't think I'm going to because I really like some of these colors that are coming up here. So I think I will just start the tip process. Take your time with your tipping. Notice the areas that you really want to keep and the areas that you're not too uh, crazy about. You can; Those are the ones that you can tip off your canvas. I am getting some cells here. Matter of fact, I really do like the looks of these cells. Gonna run a little paint off there and bring it back. I like to try and bring my paint back to the center. I'm just gonna take a look at it here. And I will tip down to this corner. And bring that back. And I'm going to try and straighten this out down on the bottom a little bit. And now tip to this corner. There's still quite a bit of paint on here. I'm going to bring that back, straighten it out a little bit, just taking a look at it. And next I am going to tip Tip this corner, tip to this corner, and um, take off that negative space, I think. And bring that back.
one thing you'll find with the mix also is the more you tip it, the more you stretch the paint out, the more layers will come up, the more transparency will show. So I'm going to get this far corner here. And I'm almost tipping straight down because there's some uh, interest over here I don't want to lose. And now I'm tipping it back. Okay, I'm just taking a look at it now and I really do like this area in here I do like that I like where I left my line but some of this to me I don't like the purple and I, I don't like some of this what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this paint down and I'm going to stretch some of that off if possible I would rather stretch out this top part and see what I get, what nice effects I get. Okay, I like that corner. I'm going to stretch it over this way a little bit. Just stretch some of that off and I'm going to bring that back. Straighten it out a little bit here. And I'm going to go straight down here. Okay, now I'm going to bring that back. And hopefully you are seeing this. Take a look at it here now. And I am not sure what that little white line, it, what this little white circle is here. I'm just going to take a little bit from my cup, a little dot on that. Let's see if we can pour on that, or I'm sorry, tip on that a little bit. Bring the paint down a little more. It is still moving slowly. But the effects are just beautiful here. 
Okay, I'm going to take a look at this now. And I do have another one of those little white, white dots there. It's almost like what happens when you have cell action going on with pearl cells. Do a little tipping this way now. Okay, I'm gonna take another look at it. Just cleaning off the bottoms and adding to my corners here. Make sure they're covered. Okay. And I think I will give it a torch. Let's see what we have going on here. Just, just beautiful, the effects I'm getting here. And I am going to take my skewer and just play around with it a little bit here. Maybe run a few lines through. Just a little more interest for the eye here. And I am going to see if I can just get that to run off a little bit more on that edge there. Like I said, it is. It's just running very, very slow. Okay. Very, very happy with that. And I do think composition wise, my painting would go this way. This being the top. And I think I will get you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up, and I will show you the entire painting here. What I did off camera is I did a little bit more tipping. And I'm so glad I did. I got a lot more interest in this. So let's start here at the upper left-hand corner. And like I said, with the mix, you can see all these different layers of paint coming through. It allows for a lot of transparency. Very, very interesting in here. I did get some cells. These colors played very well with each other. There's crisp, crisp lines and then there's more muted lines. Really pretty in here. Very nice effect. Again, this is one of my favorite parts of the painting. I just love that purple.
and that you can see where I did do stretching and this line is very, very curvy now where I added that mysterious color in there with the white. I'm taking all the way over to the bottom right hand corner here and just going up the right hand side. Again, some interesting cells there. Really pretty colors. Some of the copper showing through. And this is an interesting, this is on the upper right. I really like the muted look of that purple and some of the white together. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share this, especially if you are a new um, acrylic pouring artist and you have friends that are starting out. You could share this uh, simple flip cup. Um, ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider. That would help my channel grow. Thank you so much for being with me here today and watching this little video. Leave any comments or any questions you may have if I can help you out in any way. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.